a ripper female right here. This is actually a lemon blast. That's heifer VPI Xanth. And it's bred to this dragonfly heifer VPI Xanth. Last year we actually used the firefly VPI Xanth from this exact pair. And it looks like mama's definitely protecting her eggs. And looks like a beautiful clutch. Look at how many eggs these are. Ooh, come on, mama. Let's get off them. That's all right. There you go, girl. All right, we'll put her up here. Hopefully she won't bite us. That is a gorgeous clutch right there. Here we got a couple rollers here, which we will definitely candle here in a minute. Mama, calm down, calm down. So we have two, four, six, eight, nine beautiful eggs. So let's go ahead and get these over to the incubator. We're gonna be able to cut these in about 57 days. For you guys, it's gonna be in about five minutes. I am beyond excited about, you know, I'm excited about every clutch. We're up to 60 something clutches of eggs in the incubator. This happens to be the Lemon Blast Hep VPI to the Dragonfly Hep VPI. So a lot of potential for some really cool, silvery, beautiful animals. 30 days in, we still got two, four, six, eight, nine eggs. We have not lost one egg yet. Still got 26, 27 more days to go. But at this point, they're looking pretty promising and I think we're gonna have a good time. Okay, we have to ask all the crew five questions. Shh. Or else they're fired. Connie, we have some questions for you. Or you're fired. Are you ready? Yeah. That was the first okay. Question. She passed. That's a question two. Is it trivia? Yeah. yeah. Oh no. <laughs> what is the main difference between boas and pythons? Um, obviously, like their top, their heads. She was gonna say their tongues. I don't. I don't know. Or could, but constrictors, they like kill their prey by like choking them out. I think Lucy Ivy. Hit us with something. Ivy. Well, uh, Ivy is aquatic. She's aquatic loving. No, Wait, no. Are we really doing oh, this right. today? Noah. You're fired. No, don't put me in the closet. Okay. No, we actually we have, have a few question. more questions. So you okay. failed the second question. Yeah. If you answer them wrong, you get fired. Question one. number one. What are the main differences between boas and pythons? No heat pit. Boas are life bearers. They have a different body shape. What you gotta give? Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you want to add to that? Maria covered it all. It's the night before the cut. Tomorrow we get to cut this clutch. It's really cool. Of course, it's the Lemon Blast Head VPI to the Dragonfly Head VPI. So we started with nine eggs and we still have two, four, six, eight, nine beautiful eggs. So it's going to be an absolutely amazing day tomorrow. We get a chance to see if we have any Azanthic VPI, Dragonfly Azanthic VPI, Azanthic pinstripes, all kinds of different stuff. So one more sleep. Tomorrow morning we wake up, we take these over to the shop, and we get a chance to see what is in them. Hey, bird. Why are you jumping? He brought his bird. Oh! Vision! That's what you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go I'm inside. It's cold out here. It's a beautiful bird. What is the largest and smallest lizards on the planet you know the biggest one everybody knows the biggest one monitor yeah but what, what kind? is it? the largest and at the same time the smallest what is the largest species of monitor on the planet Como. komodo dragon oh, she did it all right now what's the smallest um like a arg think um, what no. my that was pretty <laughs> micro no. No, different word. Don't for it. do Macro? That. Oh, nano. <laughs> nano. <laughs> Even smaller. Nano. Cur cur nano. Oh, you were so close. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> CH. Chromatic. Cr chromatic. No, that's <laughs> geometry. <laughs> Cuh. Lizards with a cup. Nano Connie. Nano Connie. What's a honeydew? It's a melon. Come nano Cuh. Nano camelon? Oh. <laughs> oh, nano Oh my god! Nano melonist. No! <laughs> oh my god, she still didn't get it! No, I know, I know, I know. Chameleon! Yeah! yeah. Oh. So guys, just so you know, we are hiring because Connie just got fired. She's no, okay. please, I love my job. All right. What is the largest and the smallest lizards on the planet? Smallest? How about you do the largest? Where you do the smallest. That's including like monitors and everything, yeah. right? Yeah, what's the so largest the monitor? monitor? Right? Yeah. The what? Komodo. Dragon. Dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, is it smallest? The smallest lizard on the planet? Isn't it a type of chameleon? I can't remember specifically what one. Small. Think of things for small. It's like, not I don't micro. Know. Not pick, do pick me chameleon. I small. Have an iPod. Nano. Yep. Nano. Wow. wow. Does, she, does she have an earbud in? Did you put an earbud in her? Back at you with my friends over at HelloFresh today. We are going to make some scrumptious firecracker meatballs. What could possibly be better than that? Have a packed schedule this fall? HelloFresh has meals covered with weekly selections of 30 plus recipes and 70 plus convenient items all delivered to your door. Cozy up with some delicious sweets and get the whole family involved with HelloFresh's limited edition kid-friendly baking kits. HelloFresh works for your schedule, plans are flexible, and you can change your meal preferences, update your delivery date, and even change your address with just a few taps on the HelloFresh app. HelloFresh is 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant or grocery shopping. 
Getting back into fall season can be busy, but weeknights can be made much easier with foolproof step-by-step -step recipes ready in about 30 minutes or less. HelloFresh also offers veggie, presbyterian, and fit wholesome foods to make it easy to stick to your goals. You can easily customize your meals with Hello Custom by swapping proteins or sides, upgrading choice proteins, and even adding proteins to a veggie meal. It's never been easier to eat your way. And HelloFresh is the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all packaging is recyclable. Not to mention HelloFresh cuts down on your food waste by at least 25% compared to grocery shopping. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my promo code BRIANB16 for 16 free meals across 7 boxes and 3 free gifts. And now my favorite part to taste it. Oh. Mm. That is good. Remember, go to HelloFresh.com, use my promo code BRIANB16 and get 16 free meals across seven boxes plus three free oh. gifts. Wait, how come he's not doing the knocking thing? I love the knocking thing. We gotta get one of these, man. I know. Hey! It jumped off. And after a good night of sleep thinking about cutting this clutch of eggs, I'm excited to get them over to the shop and see what's inside. Like I said, hopefully it'll be some nice silver azanthic babies. What do you say we take them to the shop and go ahead and cut them? Oh God. Bad choice, Noah. Wow. Like that? Yeah. Are you jealous you don't have your J one? Doesn't got say you. J. You thought, I got you for a second. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Boom. Yeah. We don't need bad choice, Noah. Team. Team. No. Go on, get out. No. Hello? Honey, next question, okay? Uh -huh. What does ectothermic mean? Ectothermic means that they, they get heat from the outside sources. Oh! Second to last question. <laughs> what does ectothermic mean? Alyssa? Ecto. <laughs> Hit us with it. Ectothermic. Ecto would be like out. Thermic sure. is like heat. Turn around real quick. No, hi. <laughs> I asked a serious question, but I didn't know you guys were following. Okay, no, we'll stop going. What's the question? It's like, really, now I feel embarrassed because it's Why? not that important. But, uh, where's the RGB? RGB, what is it it's called? Like it's wow. ABG. It's ABG. Okay. First off, basement on the gift shop side. I looked there and I didn't see it. Then a it's big box. It's, it's um, when you go down the stairs. It's Sorry to interrupt. There's four corners. You keep on that eye on people. Alyssa's got her answer. Come Did on. Did you tell her? Wait no. a minute. They no, I figured it out all on my own. She Googled it. They need heat from from outside sources. Like, they have to like Look lay at her on smile. sand, like you warm guys, sand. You guys are so full of crap. No, you she, no. I, I gave but her a hint. Me. Look at me in the eyes, did she cheat? I gave her a hint. That's all it was, hint. and I figured it out no, from there. See, you're lying, because she's about to say something completely different <laughs> than what you're saying right now. Because <laughs> EXO is outside. Hi, Sally. Oh, perfect. Hi, guys. Hi, How are you? I'm Good. wonderful. Is your husband here? Yeah. Where is he? Sleeping. No, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> Let me join him. Bill, knock, knock. Is he really sleeping? Takes a nap. I You're taking a nap back there, dude? <laughs> I just got here. Hey, Mr. Not done. Says, I, gotta take a, I gotta take a snooze. So no way, I love it. Can okay, <laughs> we do that? Take a snoozer. Take a snoozer. And it is time, guys. I hope there's gonna be a bunch of silver babies in here. That's what the hopes are for sure. Egg number one. Let's see what we got. Like I said, last year we produced some rippers from this exact pairing. And right off the bat, we have what looks like a dragonfly, which is a fire, a pastel, a pinstripe, and it's a possible hat because when you breed hat to hat, there's a 66% chance that they're hat. So it's not a hat, it's a possible hat. Let's see if we get a silver baby in the next one. What do we got? Looks silver. Oh, yes! This is the Dragonfly Azanthic VPI. This is the all gene animal here that we we're hoping for. Absolutely stunning. That thing is crazy looking. We already knew it was proven out because last year we produced some Azanthics from it. We produced one of those. We've already produced one of those and we still have two, four, six, seven eggs to go. So that is super exciting. Let's just keep on moving on. Egg number three. Let's see what we got. Let's hope for another Azanthic. Whoa, what? What in the world? This one is disgusting. So listen, this is, I didn't even think about it. This is actually the Super Pastel Dragonfly. So we call it Superfly Azanthic. So I hadn't even thought that we were gonna prove something like that. That is just a silver animal with a super paint pattern. So that actually is the all gene animal. So we are crushing it. Oh my God, that was amazing. I didn't even think about the fact that we could get a Super Pastel out of it. So that is unbelievable. That is a ripper. Probably gonna keep that one because I absolutely love it. Let's see what else we got. 
Oh, let's just keep those silver. Oh, look at that, an azanthic. This is just a normal azanthic. So we've hit three. Oh gosh, look at how cool that is. We've hit three azanthics in a row. And we've hit the dragonfly, the super fly, and then of course a normal azanthic. Wow, what a clutch this is turning out to be. We still have five eggs to go. This is ridiculous. Hi, Seth. What is, you can't even, you can't what even is, say the question. <laughs> you know? That okay. I'm dyslexic. What does polycephaly mean? Um, okay. So poly means many. Um, ceph, I don't know what that Latin root is from. So, a head, so they have they have multiple heads. They're like uh, they're they're like uh, oh. uh, multiple heads. How did she know that? <laughs> but doesn't know what a camelon is. <laughs> Perfect. Good job, Connie. You passed. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. Now I'm going to be disappointed if every single one is in silver. To be honest with you, that's crazy run. And again, wait a second. Yep, another silver. This is definitely just a lemon blast. So this is an azanthic lemon blast. So we're getting all azanthic stuff, unbelievable. But there's all combinations of a dragonfly, superfly, azanthic, and then lemon blast azanthic. Wow, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I couldn't imagine if it did this well. So why don't you guys go ahead and comment down below and tell me what you think is gonna be in this egg here. You ready? You gotta be kidding me right now. What in the world? This is another super unbelievable. This is another super fly, and it looks to be azanthic. There's a chance it could just be a super fly. I see a little bit of yellowing in here. Yeah, I think it is. Unfortunately, I don't think it's azanthic. At first, I thought, oh my gosh, another super fly azanthic, but I actually think that it's actually just the super fly that is a possible head. Again, 66% possible head azanthic. Three more eggs. Here we go. Now I'm, now I'm jonesing for more silver snakes. That's all I want. And looks like a normal ball python. So this is just a normal ball python. That's possible head azanthic. That's it. Two eggs to go. Let's end on a bang here, guys. This is amazing. Silver, 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 silver. Nope, another normal ball python. So two normal ball pythons in a row. We've got one egg to go. Boy, we were on a run there for a minute. But let's go ahead and see if this last egg at least ends with a bang. Come on, be something amazing. Oh, we looks like we just have a pinstripe that's possible head azanthic. So we ended kind of a little bit weak, but we started super strong. And there's some amazing animals in here. So we'll wait a couple days. These guys will crawl out and I'll show you what they look like. And then of course, we're gonna wait till they shed and they're gonna really look amazing. All in all, it was a great clutch. What is polycephaly? Don't look at Maria. Do you need help looking it up too? I've never even heard this word. We say it all the time in the vlog. All the time. You think I watch the vlog? Yeah, I know you do. So only when I'm in a. <laughs> You're not subscribed? Oh, I'm subscribed and I have the bell. Ding! Maria, exactly. tell us what Polly's definitely means. So Polly is having multiple of something. Right. Double heads. Right? And Alyssa has to agree or disagree for it to be correct. Sure, yeah, I agree. I agree to whatever Dang. Maria said. All right, I guess you're still both employed. <laughs> Damn it. Nice try, guys. <laughs> and the clutch is all hatched out. And there are some rippers in here, too. This is actually a super dragonfly that's possible head for VPI. To be honest with you, this is the one that I thought was also a VPI, but you can see it's got a lot of yellow in it. Unbelievable. And I'm just going to go ahead and set all of these guys up as we go. We have just a normal dragonfly. This is basically what the dad looks like, right? It's a normal dragonfly, but this is a possible head VPI. Then we actually have a fire pinstripe here. You can see those two combinations work together really well. Dad pastel and that's what makes it the dragonfly. And initially, I thought this was a VPI azanthic, but in actuality, it's a fire VPI azanthic. Again, the dragonfly is a fire, a pastel, and a pinstripe. This is the fire version of an azanthic. Then we get into some beautiful snakes here. Once these guys shed, and I'm going to show you guys later in the vlog after these shed, you're going to be blown away at these things. This is actually the dragonfly VPI azanthic. So again, it's a pastel, it's a fire, it's a pinstripe, it's an azanthic. Who doggy, that thing is beautiful. Then there's the crown de la creme, which is of course the super fly, EPI azanthic, which is a super pastel. It's a fire, it's a pinstripe, and, and it's azanthic. Wow, I cannot wait till this thing sheds because it's gonna look so silvery and so absolutely beautiful. And finally, we just have a pastel that's possible head VPI azanthic. We'll set these guys up here, get them some water, let them shed out here in the next four, five, six days, and I'm gonna show you as soon as they shed out how amazing they look. Hey, your bird wants you back. Is that your car alarm? What the hell was that? No, <laughs> <laughs> um, he doesn't even want me. And the clutch shed out and they look absolutely incredible, starting with this super fly here, which is a super pastel fire 
pinstripe that is het for VPI Azanthic. And then this one here would actually be just a dragonfly, which is a pastel, a fire, and a pinstripe. So it's just missing that second expression of pastel. And then we start getting into the Azanthic stuff. This is actually a fire VPI Azanthic. What an incredible steak. And these guys are all little pistols. They are so funny, but after that shed, wow, they look good. And then take a look at this one here. We actually produced one of these last year as well. This is actually a dragonfly VPI Azanthic. It is a pastel, it's a fire, it's a pinstripe, and it's Azanthic, which is a recessive mutation. Unbelievable. And then, ooh, doggy. Then we finally got the real ripper here. This is the Superfly VPI Azanthic. So again, it's the super pastel, it's a fire, it's a pinstripe, and it's Azanthic. Absolutely wonderful. And these things look amazing now that they shed out. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one. Nanocamelon? Oh! <laughs> oh, Nano! Oh.